The UHD core is IP at its heart. It's an IP native device. It's the console core for MC Square 56, Mark II and Mark III, uh, and MC Square 96. It has over a thousand processing channels on just one RU. Little rack space, little weight, little power consumption. The UHD core is prepared for not only 48 kilohertz, but also 96 kilohertz. And it solely provides its I.O. based on 2110. Ravenna, it's AS67 compatible, but it's all about IP. We have streaming redundancy. So the eight ports in the front are split up into four streaming devices that always provide red and blue network connection. If power and streaming redundancy is not enough for your operation, you can at any time add a second unit that carries a what we call redundancy license. The value proposition and the functionality is purely defined by the software that we load onto the device. So it's basically all in software and this is a massive step forward. A-Line UHD Core Phase 2 introduces a suite of software tools that enables our customers to operate and manage network devices. And you can change the functionality based on the software license that you load. One of the many options of the licensing system of the UHD Core is an option called pooling, because it allows you to effectively split the resources and use the processing power of one UHD Core on multiple consoles. You can divide it onto so-called virtual mixers. The new generation of core technology always comes with a lot of advantages and possibilities. So let's expect great things in the future from the UHD core development.